seems to be able to figure out why it's doing it. Captain Alex Burke has worked in the Athens Clark Jail for 27 years. The mattress inside. He's familiar with the building and says problems arise because of two things. It always comes back to the overcrowding and the design of the building. You're going to always come back to that. The current jail was built in 1980 and added on in 1993. 307 inmates is what I should have here and consider the jail full. Today, I have uh, 387 in the building. That number can get up to 430, and that doesn't include inmates who are sent to other jails. The new jail will hold 752 inmates. A building this old is a maintenance nightmare. Everything from toilets, showers, and locks are part of the original building built in 1980 and hard to fix if broken. Captain Burke says he knows people have concerns about improvements. I know you hear a lot of people say we don't want those inmates living in a luxury hotel out there on Lexington Road. Believe me, we don't want the inmates living in a luxury hotel either. But problems don't just affect inmates. The workers have to deal with them too. Several places in the jail have mildew growing on the wall. And we have to constantly scrub it. Missing floor tiles and water leaks. Uh, we pack blankets against this wall to try to hold water back. These conditions are causing a high turnover rate for employees, something Captain Burke hopes the expansion will fix. For WNEG, Tori Wilkinson, Grady College.